Hello, YouTube world, and welcome back to Beholder. And truth be told... Oh, it didn't save. Oh, God, I gotta watch this again. Is there anything... Do they take his body? They have to take his body. Can I talk to him? No, doesn't look like it. Uh, I can't believe I have to witness this again. Oh, look, there's somebody in there already. Can't break him out. Oh, God, they're just beating the crap out of her. Can I talk to you? It has the talking option, but you kind of just stand there. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have given her the gun. I keep trying to make these people happy. And it's just, it's all backfiring. Maybe I have to be an asshole spy. Yeah, I think we just read that already. Oh, is this some shit? They just left it there? Oh my god, I think it is. She had a knife, apparently. Can I? Yeah, just take it all. We'll sell that to... Money bags, I guess. Yeah, you're empty. So we'll get rid of that. Oh, and it looks like Anna wants something. Let's go see what our loving wife wants. What girl? Um, did we talk about this yet? Do you know Patrick wants to leave? Yes, he told me. He's really upset about having to give up his education. What do you think? Shall we help him? My heart is breaking, Carl. They'll kill him at the border. They'll shoot him like a dog. My poor baby. I tried to talk him out of it, but he won't listen. Okay, I guess that wasn't it. Let's see what she needs. 500 for groceries. Here you go, wife. Just keep sucking money from me. It's illegal to go to the bar. Okay, these directors again a little, a little uh, far-fetched, if you ask me. We're gonna get twenty thousand for him to leave again. To be honest, I I think he'd be better off anywhere away from this place. So we'll we'll try and help him. Meanwhile, this guy needs paint and scissors. So let's see if we have any. Ooh, what's that guy doing? Nothing. I think our place is empty. Um, let's actually use this opportunity to see who lives on the second floor. All right, that check. Got a new message. Can I actually... I don't have any cameras. Let's go ahead and buy one real quick. Oh, put it in before she gets up. Okay, no, we don't have time. Oh, look. Your door totally wasn't open. Due to the recent events at the university... Wait, no, we... read this. Oh, there you go. We've made the choice for you. Just bring this piece of paper to the election headquarters. That's convenient. There's a sheet of toilet paper. This is Dora Noel. It's better to be in jail than with my husband. I'm happy, and I will never forget how you helped me. I asked for my heirloom to be transferred to your name before my account was suspended. You are a good man, Carl. Don't beat your wife. Okay, I mean... If she's happy, I'm happy, I guess. Did she give us anything useful? I don't think so. Another message. Just like instant mail. 
Invent that. Invent that. Invent this. Is it? No, this is no. Investing on the was a terrible idea. This business failed and I lost all my money, although now I have to, two tons of jelly meat. I tried to sell it and was fired for trading. You are guilty. Oh, God. See? This is the guy that we had to get to invest in that stupid company. He's pissed. Oh. Alright, so he needs scissors. I think that's it. These are all completed, as far as I know. So we only have these two for now. We're actually pretty close to 20,000. Is she home? Yeah, she's sleeping. Uh, who lives here again? Four. Karen's a town everywhere. He's ready to attack. I don't think we learned... Oh no, we learned he wants to kill people. I remember that. He's a bit of a psycho in that regard. But I think we... Sh it's gonna cost 500, but we need to get more people in here. I got fined for trying to get rid of that guy, apparently. Um... Yeah, let's move in somebody... Into the basement of... Well, not the basement. Money bags here. Money bags! No, I didn't need anything from... Oh, no, I need paint and scissors. Let's sell all this crap first. We don't need any of it. Bam, bam. Bam. So, we need scissors. And paint. Don't think he has the paint. Um, yeah, he doesn't have the paint yet. Which is fine. We'll find it. Alright, let's find somebody to move in. I think we only have this one person left, though. She went to a place with no kids. I mean, we got one kid. So... There you go. And let's put in... Oh, put the camera in real quick. Okay, there we go. We'll change, uh... We'll change the smaller ones in the other buildings as we progress. But we'll let her, s her settle in. She's home. We need to get more cameras up here. Is this guy in? This might be him coming back now. Doesn't seem like he's in. No, he's not in. Yes, yes, I know you don't like to post him. We'll put you right there. Let's get every camera spot situated first before we worry about upgrading them. Oh, one second. Okay, sorry about that, folks. My mechanic just called telling me what was wrong with my car. So that's just another little bundle of stress I gotta put up with. Um, yeah, sorry. Now I got all the bills and shit on my mind. Anyway, what were we doing? We were snooping. We were snooping. We got that on him. Screwdriver, watch. Did we check this table? I don't think so. Blueprints for something. Oh my god, I could just feel the anxiety building up.
I've got this to deal with now. I've got rent next week. What else? I got the ooh the car insurance, obviously. Gotta worry about that. But I guess the good thing is if I don't have a car, I don't have to worry about the insurance anymore, so. That's kinda nice, I guess. Okay, I think this is the new lady, so let's go talk to her. Margaret, what was her name? Uh, I, I didn't get her last name. Whatever. Good afternoon, Comrade Carlstein. Margaret Zewer, librarian. We met about ten years ago. I worked at the library on the 42nd teaching block. You probably don't remember me, and I have a good memory for faces. Nice to meet you. I attended the 42nd block. I hope you like living in our building. I will if it's clean and quiet. And no kids! I mean, as long as you don't run into our son, you should be fine. This is the warmest autumn we've had in a while. Young Carl, you're young, Carl. You'd feel warm even in the Arctic. At my age, it's always freezing. Juvenile romanticism is inevitable, replaced by senile rheumatism. Do you keep track of the news from the front line? Oh no, I'm saving my nerves. These fools can't fight properly. If I were in charge, I would have exterminated all of our enemies long ago. Don't you think that's too much? Nonsense, Carl Stein. The history of mankind is about the bloodshed. Have you been ditching school? Come to my library. I'll give you some textbooks on the history of war. Do you like your job? Absolutely! What could be better than guarding books from people? I wouldn't last a day in the children's library. Unfortunately, society has once again forgotten that spanking is the best way to deal with a misfit who ruins books. You have stern views on bringing up children. Do you have kids? No, Carl, I don't have any children. They are the antithesis of the everything I love. Order and quiet. Tell her you ruined books. When I was a kid, I ruined plenty of books. I did it when I got older, too. Seriously, Carl? I remember tearing pages out of several pathetic memoirs. I purposely chose a certain article. I can't remember what it was about. What? That was you? From an article removed from the memoirs of the great leader? I was accused of... Seven years! Seven years of camps, Carl! All because of you. Oh, damn, we don't have enough. Can we walk away? We can't walk away. Uh, let's joke about it and see if we can come back with more reputation. What can I say? Your life was lived for a reason, though in vain. Do you know why we can't win this war, Carl? Because the idea that we're a fortress under siege is failing us. We expect to be attacked from the outside. And the real enemies are right here, under our noses. You won't ruin another life, you scum. Oh. Looks like she's, uh... Oh, God. Oh, God! This bitch just killed me. This bitch just shot me in the head with a blow dart. Do I get healed? Is that game over? What 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 happens? It rained the day of Carl's funeral. The cheap pinewood coffin was covered with rocky soil as the bleak autumn sun lumbered across the sky. A thin fog settled over the cemetery. No one from Carl Stein's family was destined to leave to the end of the year. Oh, well, that sucks. So that means my wife and son died too? Oh my god, that was a horrible ending. <laughs> we'll more than likely try it again, but this time being the asshole that, uh... The inner me so desperately wanted to try and get out. But... 
I'm going to end this episode here and uh, try and calm myself down before heading to uh, my next recording session. So, I will see you folks next time. Thank <laughs> you.